What's up, gang? Welcome back to Brown Sugar Baby TV. Thank you so much for stopping back today. If you're still here, don't forget to hit that like. Of course, subscribe, share, and comment. So, y'all, here's the thing. My family doesn't have a family cookbook that's around. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and document my own family cookbook and just make a digital one. So, that's what I did for Thanksgiving this year. Let me just say, it was so amazing watching my mom in the kitchen. She is so organized, practical. She puts so much love into the food that she makes for us. And I'm so blessed to be able to watch her do it all these years. So it was really nice. But I'm not going to hold y'all. We're going to get straight into this video. Really, I learned a lot. And now it's time for y'all to tap in with me. So sis got right into it. She was clearly seasoning her meat. This is her spaghetti sauce. She puts chopped onion, garlic powder, salt and pepper, oregano, a few other things. She adds some ketchup into there. So after she's added that ketchup in there, she gets all that she can literally out of it. My mom plays no games. And then she stirs that baby all together. So once my mom gets everything stirred in, my girl likes to add some tomato sauce. We get the garlic and herb kind from the Hunt family. She then mixes everything together once again. My mama's spaghetti is nothing to play with. So as y'all see, my girl is adding some barbecue sauce to her actual spaghetti sauce. And she's going to stir that baby nice and good. And we, we going to get this right. Y'all just wait. My mom ended up cooking her sauce overnight. All right now, so as y'all can see, we got the greens going. And what my mom typically does is she brings the water to a bowl first, and then she'll add a turkey leg while then seasoning it with onion, garlic, crushed peppers, salt, pepper, any of the things that just make your food taste good, if you know what I'm saying. She literally cooks her greens overnight. They turn out so good. She used turnip greens. It was so good, y'all. I wish y'all could have had, had some because it was just mm, scrim delicious. <laughs> tap in, y'all. This is this how you season some chicken, okay? Now we finna tap into this dressing. Now so y'all can see my girl is crunching up the toast. That is just the first step of us making our dressing. I should just try it. It's really good. And of course, she added the cornbread to the dressing. Y'all already know she's not finna play with these seasonings. Chow, she didn't put some sage. Some cream of chicken, salt, pepper, of course, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of vegetable oil, some butter, all that good stuff. After she seasoned it pretty darn well, she goes ahead and adds some actual peppers and onions just to give it some more flavor in the dressing. Once all the peppers and onions are in there, she gives that thing a nice stir so everything is blended together nicely. Yeah, you thought we was done. So now what she does is add two eggs to her dressing and she's going to stir that once again so that everything is mixed together smoothly. Y'all remember how I said she has some Campbell's cream of chicken? Yeah, so now we're actually putting that thing to use and she puts that into her dressing. Okay, now we finally on the last step of the dressing, which is to add some chicken broth. And once again, you just stir all that together and then you can bake that baby. What's Thanksgiving without candy yams? I don't know, but my mom made her delicious candy yams and she includes these ingredients. She does lemon, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, and brown sugar. And she told me when I'm making these that I have to wait until they're fully soft to be able to eat them. Okay, I get it. You're probably wondering, what the heck did brown sugar baby make for Thanksgiving? Truthfully, your girl is just there, okay? I was there to eat, enjoy my time, and to learn. Like I said, I am making a digital cookbook so that next year I'm coming for y'all. Like, what's good? But yeah, I ended up just making the dessert, which was some lemon and strawberry cupcakes. You guys will see there later. Truthfully, I just wanted to show you guys step by step how I made those. They were delicious and very easy to do. If you can't cook, this should be something you can achieve. Like, 
it's very easy, truthfully. And yeah, I just went to the store, bought whatever ingredients was on the back of the box, and I made them things, period. They were delicious. My family loved them, and the end results are just so pretty. I can't wait for you guys to see. Now you guys are seeing how I got my strawberry cupcakes together, which was very fun and very easy. Like I said, I use a mixer to make sure things blend as smoothly for the cupcakes. And as you can see, it turns that really pink color, which I love. Pink is on my face. Then lastly, before I put them in the oven, I made sure to spray down some canola oil, put the cupcakes into a cupcake holder and follow the instructions from there. There we have it, the final product, y'all. We ended up making some cereal cupcakes using some Fruity Pebbles. They look so freaking good. My brothers didn't even believe that we made this. They tried to say we got it from someplace. But yes, this is what we came up with for Thanksgiving as our dessert. What that church lady say? I got greens, beans, tomatoes, tomatoes, did it, did it, did you name it. Yeah, y'all heard her. You name it. So my mama clearly threw down. Y'all see what the heck is going on here. We got everything, everything and more. It was so delicious. It was a beautiful time sitting there eating with my family as always. So grateful to celebrate it with them every year. Hope you guys enjoy watching my family's digital recipe book. More to come soon. <laughs> As always, if you made it to the end of my video, please go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, share, and of course, comment. Thank you so much for tapping in with me, and I will see you in the next one.